Okay, there's my moose. And there's my moose head. Um, what do we know about mooses? If you get three mooses together, they're meese. Clancy's groaning on that one. Uh, we were going to talk a little bit about, generally speaking, what else are we doing while we are getting busy waiting to get released from our quarantine? Um, some people are getting very um, cabin fever. And they're trying to be very polite on social media. What do I see when I look at... Well, I'm specifically talking about LinkedIn. LinkedIn seems to be a place where people wear masks. Not those COVID-19 masks, but they wear a mask. They um, don't appear authentic to me. So quite often you see on LinkedIn, people say it's a place for professionals and professional behavior. And I always look and say, professional behavior is a mask. It's not authentic. You're presenting things the way you want people to see you rather than the way you are. Phony baloney is what I see it as. Someone says, um, I don't like people using bad words on LinkedIn. It's self-censorship. There's a time and a place when a bad word comes out. And it comes out because it's a personal expression. What's wrong with personal expression? Well, there's a lot wrong with it. You know, you know people are going to judge you. you know, and then you're not going to get a job from LinkedIn. Isn't that what LinkedIn's for? Getting a job or something? Recruitment? It's time for a paradigm shift. A paradigm shift, it is an old buzzword, and it means uh, we'd have to change. The only constant is change is an old refrain from business school. Even Buddha said the only thing you, you can depend upon is change. So um, it's time for us to change our paradigms. It's time for us to take off our masks and see what the hell is underneath the mask. What's wrong with these masks? They make people dried up old prunes. Dry as the Sahara Desert. Dry. Nothing grows in the Sahara Desert because it's so dry. Nothing grows. So all of you people that are wearing these masks so you won't be judged, you know, I got to fit in. I got to wear my business appropriate attire I gotta speak so that no one's going to question me in other words I've got to 
appear to be towing the line, you're dry. You're basically dead. You need an oasis in the Sahara Desert, which means you need water. And you need some date palm trees. You need some shade. My friend says, only in the desert could you have an oasis, a real oasis. The desert is beautiful. You should go to the desert sometime. See the beautiful sunsets on the desert. The stars at nighttime. Are you going to wear business attire when you hop on a camel? And you go across the Sahara Desert. Business attire is for business. And we're in business on LinkedIn. The paradigm shift is away from the way it was. Someone might say, well, it's an opportunity to reinvent yourself. The paradigm shift isn't really about reinventing yourself or putting, you know, I'm going to the sign maker and I'm just going to get a new font for my sign. The paradigm shift is a change in consciousness, which means, you know, not going back to your textbook from business school and reviewing, you know, the marketing section. It's throwing away the marketing textbook, throwing away the accounting textbook, throwing away your business diploma. It's a great shift and it's wrenching. It's a wrenching change. You know, it's like you've got a stuck bolt and you sprayed it with WD-40 and then you got to get a, a wrench out and you've got to really haul on it. And it's making those funny noises that metal on metal make when they don't want to move. And then you got to get a wrench extension so you can get more leverage on it. You really got to give a lot on it. And finally, what happens is you break the bolt. And that's basically how stuck we are in the current state of consciousness. We're totally stuck. It's a rusty old bolt and we can't move it. So we have to break it. We have to break that bolt that's keeping us in this old state of consciousness. Most of you will never be able to dream because you don't have the ability to be a dreamer. All you do is reinvent the same old wheel. You're stuck in the box. And everyone's heard of thinking outside the box, but you can't think out of the box because you don't have more consciousness. And some people try to get more consciousness and then they jump back in the box that they were in.
I try and super glue more consciousness into the old box they were in. I got more consciousness now. I'm going back to work. That's not a paradigm shift. In search of any other recommendations, I'm going to give you one more. You have to leave your old way of being. It was a way that was given to you by business school, for example, textbooks, professors, mentors at work, your boss, your secretary, your co-workers, your alumni association. You got to throw it all away. Strip off all these attachments. Go naked. And that's basically how this change in consciousness is going to be. You running around naked. Like you were, I don't know, 18 months old or something. That's all I have to tell you, but in order to gather everything together to get ready for this shift in consciousness, um, you really don't have anything you need to do because the change in consciousness is not really you reefing on an old stuck bolt. It's not you doing something. It's more of you withdrawing from doing and being more being. And a lot of you are going to have trouble with that because you've been taught the American way is hustle, hustle, hustle. Get an idea and then massive action. Doing, get her done. And that's not higher consciousness. Higher consciousness to you might appear like a fantasy movie because it's magic. No one believes in magic. But if you want a scientific bridge to magic, we're going to give you the word synchronicity. Because it's really not a rational thing to see Incredible coincidences. But when you do see incredible coincidences, synchronicity, that is your sign that higher consciousness is real because you look at it and you say, there's no way this could happen. There's no way that this kind of coincidence can happen, not just once, but multiple times these kind of coincidences happen.
some of you are okay with these kind of coincidences and serendipities. As long as you can stay in your business suit and your business framework, you call it being grounded. In other words, the magic of the universe helps me, you know, meet my sales goals, brings me the clients I need. No, you are still stuck with this idea you got to ground it in our reality. Because our reality is what we would call it. What? It's holding on to the past. That's all it is. It's holding on to the past. Scientific rigor. I call it rigor mortis. No need to continue with this talk because I've given you enough. You're either going to resonate with what I've said or not, or maybe some of it. Some of us are jumping fully into the new. Some of you are going to keep one foot in the new and one foot in the old. And some of you are going to stay stuck in the old. Which one are you going to be?